Super News' national reporter Paul Hawkins is live from outside uh, New Broadcasting House with an update. Uh, hello, Paul. Nice shot of your forehead there. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, apologies for that. I'm just having a, a, another read through these statements, these uh, incredible statements that have been released, this breaking news in the past hour. First of all, from a lawyer representing the young person at the centre of this, which seems to contradict what the, uh, uh, the, her mother, uh, reported by the son, has been uh, alleging. So the statement, it says, this was, uh, it says the young person sent a denial to the son on Friday evening via WhatsApp, uh, saying the statement their mother made to the newspaper was totally wrong and there was no truth to it. Nonetheless, the lawyer said the son newspaper proceeded to publish their inappropriate article uh, for the avoidance of doubt, nothing inappropriate or unlawful has taken place between our client and the BBC personality and the allegations reported in the Sun newspaper are rubbish. Now, following on from that, we then had a statement issued by the Sun themselves. Uh, we have reported a story about two very concerned parents who made a complaint to the BBC about the behaviour of a presenter and the welfare of their child. Their complaint was not acted upon by the BBC. We have seen evidence that supports their concerns. It's now for the BBC to properly investigate. So what we're looking at here is claim and counterclaim between the family and the young person at the centre of this. Clearly there are lots of questions here still for the BBC. They're saying that the, uh, the BBC is now for the BBC to properly investigate. Their complaint was not acted upon by the BBC. The BBC have always said that they've been investigating this complaint since May the 19th. It's difficult to know exactly what is true here and what is not, but this is the reason why we have that law in place, why there was that Supreme Court ruling in 2022 that said that anyone that is uh, being looked into by law enforcement agencies cannot be named uh, to protect their identity and their reputation should the case be dropped. So clearly, it, the, it's difficult to know what is true and what is not now, and that is why the presenter has remained unnamed, at least in the media. And where are the police in all of this? So the police have said that earlier on they met with uh, the Metropolitan Police. Uh, they held a, a virtual call. They were passed some more information by the BBC. It was essentially representative from the Metropolitan Police meeting the BBC Investigations Unit themselves, led by a guy called Jeff Brown. He's a former uh, Metropolitan Police detective himself. He's been head of the BBC Investigations Unit for three and a half years. Those two sides met. Some information was passed to the Met. There was th and then a very brief statement issued by the Met this afternoon saying that there is no investigation in place, but they are looking at the information and they will decide in due course whether potentially any criminal activity has taken place. Place. But given this statement from uh, uh, the, uh, the young person at the centre of this, um, it's difficult to, re to, to, to know what is going on at the moment now. But certainly questions now for not just the police, not just the BBC, not just the family at the centre of this, but also the Sun newspaper.